Some news alert. Rutherford County deputies are asking for your help to identify a woman they say damaged a funeral home while going through several wardrobe changes. 7 News reporter Henry Coburn has the latest on the investigation. Eggers funeral home was vandalized about a week and a half ago. Deputies are now asking for your help finding the woman they believe is responsible. A woman who they say changed her look multiple times while committing the crime. On Saturday, June 24th, security cameras at Eggers funeral home picked up on something strange. The funeral home's director says this woman vandalized the home and she changed clothes repeatedly as she went. He says she started off out front wearing one thing and then quickly changed. She was dressed in like a tank top, sleeveless shirt, tank top kind of uh, shirt and shorts and had a hat on at one point and we thought it was a, a male to start with and then uh, she pulled those clothes off and had a, a swimsuit on. Skipper says she took a bath using the water hose out back. He says she took several more laps around the property over the course of four hours, ripping up potted plants, breaking property lighting and tearing down a security camera. The woman then reportedly went back to the garages and broke several windows. I, I just hurt feelings, I guess you'd say. You know, we we don't want our building to be uh, vandalized or uh, anything. We try to you know keep it nice for our families we serve and um, and and uh, you know um, just just want it to look good uh, uh, for the community. As she went, security cameras showed that she changed outfits again and again. Well, she changed clothes two or three times during the time she was here. The funeral home doesn't yet know just how expensive the damages will ultimately cost to fix, but they're hoping you can help deputies find the woman on their security cameras. Well, I hope they catch the lady and, and uh, hopefully they can um, uh, get her some help. Apparently she needs, you know, help. Uh, so that, that would be the ultimate goal. Now, if you want a closer look at the photos of the woman believed to be behind the vandalism, find this story at WSPA.com. We're now in Cliffside, Henry Coburn, 7 News. The funeral home's director says the person who picked the woman up from the home was driving an early 2000s black Chevy sedan.